All right, LARP Raiders, listen up. Mech Tactical here. Got sent me a new product by Tier 1. It's by Ace Tactical Gear. It's called their Micro Rig. Um, I'm impressed. I tried it out. I'm going to tell you what I like about this vest, what I don't like about this vest. Actually, it's not a vest. It's more of a chest rig. Um, forgive me, I'm a vest guy. But um, for this, I actually did ditch the vest, and I think I will be running this the rest of the year. Uh, I will stop yakking your ear off and show you what makes this so unique. Okay, so when you guys get your micro rig, it will only have these three slots for mags. Um, available separately is another insert, which will allow you to run six mags. Um, there's some debate out on there on whether or not it will actually fit six mags. Uh, here's a video clip of me actually using uh, six mags. They're T15 mags. They fit in here uh, just fine. Uh, in front of that, you have a zippered pouch which clamshells open. I'm not even sure what's inside of here. And uh, you have elastic storage straps inside for all your gadgets and doohickeys. You want to put your cell phone in there facing backwards. Um, again, more loops. If you don't want to have this in here, you can uh, just peel this off. It's just a Velcro panel. Um, additionally, if you have another Velcro panel, it will stick to this because Velcro is universally interchangeable. Um, you have a front pocket pouch, uh, put whatever in there. You can put your kill rag in there if you're an airsoft player. And uh, YouTube, what that actually means is it's just a red microfiber you put in here that you pull out and wave around in the air when you've been hit. It's nothing dramatic. Forgive me. Uh, you have a Velcro Molly panel on the front. So if you want to attach, say like a uh, flip down cell phone holder so you can access your map and stuff or any intel or use discord to talk to your friends or take selfies to send home to your mom that also works down on the bottom here we have uh again another velcro panel no molly but the velcro is pretty tough there you go you get the prz patch um again another zippered pocket not too deep not too shallow um put co2 cartridges or a barrel swab or uh your MCS tactical beads in there, if, if you will. Um, what I find quite efficient about this, this sub-abdominal pouch is that it puts a 13 CI in there uh, quite nicely, actually, to so keep you out on the field longer, uh, so you don't have to walk back to staging between uh, runs. You can just change out the air tank on your marker. Just uh, carry it with you there. It's, it's on your person, ready to go. Um, <coughs> just like before, you got the... Uh, same as the above the above panel, removable Velcro with uh, some seriously tough elastic straps. Different sizes, small, medium, large. Uh, this strap here is also removable. Um, underneath, there were, there were two elastic retention straps that came out here that would allow you to put like a tourniquet or something across here and then cinch it down from the inside. But uh, I found that to be a nuisance for what I use this for, so I just, I removed those panels altogether. Up from the top here, now I'm gonna see if you can see it in the video clip that I used. Uh, these fit EG25 smoke grenades very well, or your uh, pistol mags for you airsoft players, or um, T4E stuff for, you know, your, your mag fed guys, or a Leatherman, or your flashlight, or, I don't know, something your girlfriend uses that takes batteries might put in there too. On the side we have a um, radio pouch or an accessory pouch. You, you, you could fit a pod in here if you wanted. I have a, uh, a bow fang with an extended battery I keep in here. Uh, actually kind of nice to have. Uh, again, I have the extended battery on my bow fang and I can put a spare battery in here. In one of these, these pouches, no problem. And then the other side's open for whatever you want, perhaps two extra magazines. Flipping it over, here's what I like about this setup. Is that on the back, this Velcro panel is actually what mounts your side panels. And I took advantage of the Velcro back here for cable management. So the cable comes off the radio, gets retained inside this Velcro here, so that, you know, it's not grabbing on tree branches and stuff, comes, loops around, comes back up to the push to toggle switch. Now, I've run every kind of style 
best there is in airsoft, paintball, you name it, I've tried it. I like this one. Okay, it's lightweight, it's compact, and it has what I need in it. Okay, you're, you're not going to go out and play with your friends or LARP uh, carrying the kitchen sink if you do. Um, well, uh, God bless you because that crap is heavy and unnecessary. All right, uh, thanks for watching my review video on the Ace Tac Micro Rig, Ace Tac Gear Micro Rig. And uh, again, a huge shout out to Tier 1 Armament for providing me with this rig to try. P.S. You're not getting it back. I'm keeping it. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>